Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A centerpiece of Team of the Season every single year is the guaranteed Team of the Season packs that drop each week for whatever League of Team of the Season is in packs. The question is, is that going to continue this year, especially with the change of live Team of the Season instead of Community Tots? Well, the pack's already in the code and they've actually already given us one for free on Friday when we logged in. Are they going to give us a second chance at packing Modric, Bruno, Doku, or maybe even Bissek? Are we going to get that change? Are we going to get those SBCs? That's what I want to talk about because this SBC always impacts the markets, and it usually means a lot of player prices end up going up after it is released. So I want to talk about that in today's video, how we can prepare for it, and even if it's going to come out. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go to yesterday's Monday content before we talk about what could be happening today on Tuesday. And man, did EA forget that it was team of the season? Guys, yesterday we had not team of the season SBCs. We had more showdown SBCs. We had showdown SBCs during the TOTS warm-up series. And before that, why do they keep dropping these showdowns? I know we have the showdown EVO that is active right now. I know there's a lot of like FC Pro Live games that are going on with the E La Liga, E League One, and stuff like that. This game doesn't have anything to do with that. It's just between the matchup of Lyon and Monaco. Tilo Carrere, in my opinion, is the better of the two SBCs. If you fancy either of these, they're both pretty cheap, which once again, and we can't complain too much because they are pretty cheap. Anticipate plus five star weak foot and jockey plus on this career card. Medium high work rates. He's had some really good cards in years past. A lot of good defending play styles. And again, pretty cheap for career. He's 84 and 86 rated squads with a team of the week. Ben Rama, on the other hand, has trickster and technical with five star skills. Looks more like a fun card for sure. Um, very, very good at dribbling in that stat category. Shooting's decent as well and good pace. So nice cheap cards to try out if you want to, if it's one of your favorite teams or if you just want to give a card a craft. But yeah, showed on SBCs during team of the season, like EA, it's just a little confusing as to why we're getting those cards there. Now it is an IRL matchup. Once again, it is not based on the FC pro finals like the Robertone and the Ocampos are just wanted to make that clear because there was some confusion with that. Now, uh, speaking of showdown cards, we had somebody get updated yesterday and that was the Alex Sandro GG's. If you did the uh, whole glitched situation when it was the Alexandro but showing Caputo. Also, EA tweeted that they compensated for that situation, but nobody seems to know what the compensation was because a lot of us did the Caputo SBC, which gave out Sandro, and we were hoping to get Caputo back, but EA never really said what they were going to do for compensation. They just all of a sudden tweeted that it was completed. I never saw a message in game or anything like that, so I'm a little confused as to what this was or what even the situation was. But um, yeah, nonetheless, Sandro is upgraded to a 90. If you were one of the crazy ones that put the 88 Sandro into the uh, Unleashing Potential Evolution to take him to an 89, he has now become a 91 rated Sandro instead of just the 90 that uh, if you did just the SBC and did not do the evolution that you have. So that was kind of the showdown situation from yesterday. The other SBCs that we had were the usual, right? The standard refresh, the Monday player picks, the 80 plus player pick returned, along with the 83 plus player pick. These packs are all over the place, or these player picks. We opened a couple yesterday on stream, and some people had some really, really crazy ones, and others, they were absolutely trash so the 80 plus player pick i really do enjoy these i think these are sometimes better than the 81 plus and you have to turn in less players i have not packed any team of the seasons from these the other two team of the seasons as you can see the counter is up to four i just keep packing fodder tots guys um i got one from an 83 times two and i forget what other pack i got my second team of the season yesterday out of but it wasn't that good of a, a team of the season card or that good of a pack. So keep hitting the 80 pluses. You never know what might happen and it'll allow you to craft all the other SBCs that you do need to get done. So the menu craft stays alive there, which is nice. It's just getting really repetitive in that sense on the menus right now. So that was kind of yesterday's content. And there was a tweet that I think surprised some of us. We're getting another 
Title Update. Title Update 13 is soon available for all versions of FC24. This seems to be like one of the smallest updates ever. They're correcting the new level notification that would have displayed without a level increase. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw that, but like right up here at the top, when you would complete some sort of objective and get XP, it would say that you would have completed a new level, even if you really had it. So that's kind of a nice small thing. And then something about concept players, and then some career mode and general fixes. Uh, this shouldn't impact gameplay, I guess, but you never know, right? They drop a title update like this, and then all of a sudden, the game feels different, even though they didn't specifically change anything inside of it. So that's something I would say might drop today or tomorrow on this game. Those title updates, um, you know, they get announced like that, and boom, they're posted pretty soon afterwards. Now, let's before we talk about SBCs and that guaranteed TOTS pack that we're looking forward to, Let's talk about the live cards, the TOTS live cards at this time, because there were a lot of price movements yesterday. And of course, we were focused on the Besek and the Ruben Loftus-Cheek showdown for the Scudetto. And Inter won the Scudetto yesterday with a win over Milan 2-1. Besek is up like crazy. He was actually even up further than this. He's 550,000 coins right now. He was 600k pre-game. Look at this rise yesterday. He was 48490 last night when we were looking at him on the video. He went all the way to 600,000 coins basically two different times during the game, before the game and during the game. Crazy crazy rise there for him. If you sold around here, I think that was a GG. I don't know if he gets up to this price again uh, unless all these starts cards start to rise during the latter part of the week, which is possible, um, but who knows. Uh, this card, man, there's so much hype for Basek. Um, I tweeted about him last night as well because I've heard so many people talking about him and his price just keeps going up. I have not tried this card out. I am super excited to maybe try him at some point. Um, I hear his dribbling, his defending, and his physical is and his pace are all just super insane. Like he just plays above his stats in game, even with how cracked the card looks, and that's why his price is going bananas. But he did move his way towards another upgrade or both upgrades technically because they got that first win and two goals towards the tally of eight. And then what you would expect to see is the flip side of the coin, right? Ruben Loftus cheek and Milan lost. So what happens? His card drops from 270,000 coins. He's now 240. Looks like he was just 235 and got undercut there. Um, but hey, maybe this is a potential opportunity to buy this Loftus cheek or a bit cheaper. I think I would want to see his price drop down a bit. He's only 170k on PC but he's 245k on the combined console market. That's a big, big difference right there. I would like to see him drop down a bit on the console market before I'd be interested in buying him. And a lot of the rest of the promo team yesterday didn't move much, but some of the cards did move down. Like last night, I was buying Zaha for 260. I still have those because I believe Zaha can go up a decent amount. He's a very, very popular card. And, you know, he did drop off a lot yesterday. He's kind of back up though just a little. He was in the low 230s and he's going back now almost to 250. He's actually not that far away from 250 if you actually look in game. Uh, there's not very many there. So I think he could go back to that. Soboslai is back down. Um, let's see, who else? Kutu Romero, Klaus, Rafinha back down a little bit as well. So these cards are down some. I think today people are maybe expecting them to go up. But like what's going to make those cards go up today? Because today's not a normal day where we have foot champs rewards, guys, right? Those are actually still tomorrow with the extended time frame. So really, if we're going to have these cards going up today, um, we would expect them to rise with foot champs rewards, giving coins out, people getting coins uh, from the rewards and going and buying players to put into their team. There still could be a bit of a rise today because I think a lot of people are still kind of operating on the same weekend schedule, playing their games on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and getting most of their games done. Like, I saved some games for today, for sure, just because gameplay yesterday was really making me mad. Um, but, I don't know, I'm really, really curious to see how the market does today on this first week of the weekend league rewards being different. I don't think I'm going to buy any more of these TOTS live cards. I do think they look really, really good and really strong for investments because they're live cards. We always talk about live cards being very good investments, it's just really tough right now to know what is going to happen with such a big looming promo of the real team of the season starting with Prem Tots on Friday. I do think that some of these cards are like guaranteed to rise out of packs, but I'm really interested to see what they do today and even tomorrow with Wednesday rewards 
before I feel like I want to invest myself, especially if we start to get some leaks for Premier League team this season, which could be coming pretty soon. Now, speaking of these Tots Live cards once more, guys, we have to talk about what everybody looks forward to. Kind of like the second biggest thing that everybody looks forward to each and every year. Definitely the biggest SBC. When you think about Tots cards, it's like, okay, Tots cards are in packs. We're looking forward to the Tots red picks and weekend league rewards. That's thing number one. Thing number two is the guaranteed team of the season packs guaranteed tots packs for whatever league is out in packs we talked about it in the intro i'm sure if you guys have played fifa of years past you remember why there's so much hype for these because it gives you a chance to pack a player from the tots cards that are in packs and it's really kind of like that sbc pack that everybody waits for every year to see what they get from it and then from there they kind of go back out to the market and they are going to go buy the cards that they want to buy if they don't pack them or if they do pack somebody sick, then they can go buy some cards to kind of put around them, put in their team, and boom, it's just, it's very fun, right? The guaranteed Tots pack is always something that people are looking forward to. It's kind of like that best ticket chance of packing one of the big players in the team of the season squad. So the question is, is that going to happen this year? Because again, we mentioned it. It's not like we have normal community Tots out right now. We have the live Tots promo. And to really answer the question of, can it happen this year? Not will it, but can it? The answer of can it happen is yes. This pack is already in the code. And let's think back. They already gave us one last Friday. Like we mentioned, all they have to do is drop this pack as a single one-time SBC. Drop it either today or tomorrow, guys. I think last year on Tuesdays where when we had the minor league TOTS upgrades, like Air Divisi TOTS upgrade last year, came out on the Tuesday of this very week. And then the community tots came out on the Wednesday. So with there not being two different kind of releases this year, they're kind of just doing the, the mixed league and then the men's and the women's team this season for the latter weeks that are to come. Are they going to still do multiple tots guaranteed packs or is it just going to be one different tots pack dropped at once we're really going to be able to only know that until we see this the pack code be added but for right now for this promo all we have is the live tots guaranteed pack so they could very easily drop a live tots guaranteed pack sbc today or tomorrow and it would be very very hype because people would want to open that again to try to go get those cards in their team to use them and to try to pack one of those most recent tots cards now the question is when would this happen or how much really would this SBC cost? And looking back to last year, the community tots upgrade guys, these were not very expensive. And also these are the SBCs that most often bring the first requirement of team of the season cards in an SBC. Like they require Todd's cards to get the SBC done. Now, if they were going to drop one of these today or tomorrow on this game, a tots live guarantee, I don't think they're going to guarantee a tots live because also the floor, you have to look at this squad in terms of how expensive is the squad from top to bottom. And you have so many fodder players, right? I think of the four Tots cards that I have packed, they have all been fodder. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of seeing Mujica, Albert, David Costa, Bayer, and Sheaf, right? Sheaf is freaking everywhere in these upgrade packs. This upgrade pack, a Tots guaranteed, Tots live, it can't be that expensive. Because when you look at the median value of the whole entire team, there is so much fodder in there that the likelihood of you packing one of these players on the bottom two rows of this squad is so high, right? Yes, you have expensive players and they're like Doku, Modric, and Bruno, but you know, you have so many players that are below 50k in this team. I hope that this upgrade SBC is not more than like 50 to 70,000 coins worth of SBC value that you have to turn in. Like if you look back at last year, the community Tots upgrade was only 40,000 coins. And there were some crazy cards in like Tots Javi Simons. Uh, there was a Tots Bergwine that was pretty good. Um, so I think looking at this team, I don't think it can be more than 50 to 75,000 coins, even with fodder being more accessible this year for it to be called a decent value upgrade pack SBC. But here's the honest truth about this. Um, you know, it's Gamble Pack Tuesday, right? Maybe our TOTS guaranteed packs are going to replace the Gamble Pack Tuesdays that we get with these mixed campaigns, or maybe they're going to come out on Wednesdays. I don't know that yet. I'm just talking about the potential of this guaranteed TOTS coming out because it's an SBC that a lot of people want to do. And the honest truth is people are going to do it regardless. If it costs 100K, 150K, or if it costs 75,000 coins, 
people are going to do a guaranteed tots pack for the oh my goodness i could pack insert player here type of mindset especially from this pack so if you want to get invested if you want to get ready for it the best thing that i could tell you to do is maybe stock up a couple of 86s because 85s are already so inflated don't i mean they could go up a bit more but i just feel like they're not as good to invest in or maybe a upgrade pack like this. And if we're thinking an SBC price of like 50 to 75,000 coins, it's very likely that 86s could be involved. I hope they don't require an inform into this because informs are already massively inflated. And I think if EA were smart, uh, they wouldn't. Also, you could say if they were smart, they would uh, because informs would go up even further and then they would drain more coins off of the market, which in turn could make people open more FC points. So I don't know where that's going to go, but I think if I was to invest in any sort of fodder right now, I would look at 86s and 87s, especially ahead of what could be another Gamble Tuesday today. Whether we get that guaranteed TOTS pack or not, we're going to be getting probably another player pick today, which this SBC last week wasn't that good, but 85, 87 rated squad, if they mix it up this week and make it an 89 plus, keep it a one of four, and maybe instead of having the versus cards in there, they add in the ultimate birthday cards that could make a campaign mix upgrade a little bit more desirable to some people to craft and you could see some market move there so i think 86s and 87s would be kind of the best place to put a little bit of coins right now if you're going to prepare if you don't have enough fodder in the club to maybe get a tots guarantee done and if you are wanting to stock up on fodder but you don't want to spend coins again hit the 80 plus player picks they are the place to be the 86 doubles i'm doing but I don't love them. I know we've mentioned this. I really do not love the value of the 86 doubles because you're getting two 86 rated players. And you're turning in 22 players to get that done. But one thing is very nice. EA has been pretty smart, right? In the past, they're going to continue to be smart. Today is the final day, not technically, but today's the first day actually where people will get the final rewards from the TOTS daily login upgrade and that would coincide perfectly with today's sbc because if you think about it today on this game if you've been logging in every single day and doing the sbc you were going to get an 86 times 2 and an 85 times 5 that is plenty of enough fodder to set you off on the right foot to maybe completing an 86 or an 87 rated squad for a guaranteed team of the season live player pack again if that were to drop so that could be something that ea do to try to get people to do that sbc even more and try to aid in the hype of a tots guaranteed pack kind of see those things lining up right they give us a little bit of that fodder those packs to open try to pack a tots but then also get the fodder to do an sbc i could see that happening but again a lot of people look at this sbc and they, they look back to previous years and they say oh but nate they required tots players I don't think they're going to require a TOTS live player instead of an SBC that gives you a TOTS player just yet, especially because it's only going to be able to give TOTS lives. Once we get into Premier League team of the season, Bundesliga, La Liga, I do believe the TOTS requirements will become uh, common and there will be TOTS required. But right now, all we have are the TOTS live cards. So I don't think that that is going to happen. Now, let's talk a little bit more about today's content on Tuesday. Um, we'll talk more about the market impact of a guaranteed TOTS SBC like that. I'll just know that if there's a very expensive card, the very expensive cards are very hard to pack in these TOTS guaranteed. And what happens most time is they go up after that pack gets dropped. Uh, so if you are wanting a, a Doku, a Romero, a, I don't even know, like Bissek for sure, Rafinha, Maybe even Kudus, Alan St. Maximin. If that SBC does drop today at the content time, there might be a bit of a dip in these prices after that content and people seeing it. But what I would want you to do is pick up that card. Pick up that card in the first hour or so after the content comes out, and you'll probably see it rise afterwards because, again, that's how it works almost every single year. People are waiting for the TOTS guaranteed to come out before buying the cards they want for their team. And you see the most rare popular meta ones start to go up. So we'll cover that more, of course, as the week goes on. And, of course, if that SBC seems to happen today, then we'll see that market movement. So I wanted to mention that uh, to kind of prepare you guys. But what else could come out today on a Tuesday? We talked about the 88 plus mix campaign. We know about that. We talked about the potential of the guaranteed. Guys, we have some um, players uh, that we're still looking for. And it's kind of time for EA to actually drop some more TOTS SBCs. Like again, we had the Kai Havertz, fantastic. We had the Myra Ramirez, cool right the real ferdinand icon cool as well it's time for more team of the season players ea sports all right we've got leon from the barclays women's super league in uh villa we've got gabri vega 
of course, from the Saudi League. And we've got Udall, who is a left back from the Mets in the League One. Um, so I know they're not really like massive big name players, but they're going to be live cards. And I think if today's Tuesday and we have three leaked players to go, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tots Live SBC players should be dropping every single day unless they're going to be inside of like the the new objectives the season pass if you will once that gets refreshed later on in the week which i would hope that they wouldn't be because that really wouldn't make any sense if they're going to put live tots cards in there they should put regular team of the season cards in there that's just my take uh so i would watch out for those player spcs coming in today as well but again i think the biggest things for today are get that daily login done and dusted because that has to be done uh today because you want to get those 85 fives and the 84 times two or the 86 times two excuse me and uh yeah just keep cranking through the player picks and cranking through even the games I, man i'll tell you guys this yesterday on stream i was just not excited to play the game i switched up the team had a little bit more fun for one game but champs has been an absolute grind it has been so difficult to get wins it's the gameplay it's also everybody sweating the game out and i'm not here trying to tell you that i'm a pro right and you can say l mate skill issue get better and yeah you know what it's definitely very true always getting better is an option but uh man it's just very unrewarding to have all the great stuff on the menus with the player picks also with feeling like we're kind of like this is the appetizer still the team of the year it feels like yes tots cards are cool tots live but we're ready for real team of the season sorry not team of the year team of the seasons um i don't know man yesterday on the menus like it was a good time and then we got into the gameplay and it was just like this sucks it just the gameplay just drains kind of the life out of you man and, it, and it's hard so that's why i'm also trying to spread out my games and try using different players i had so much fun with haji yesterday who i've had in my club for a minute but a couple of finesse shots is all i needed to get excited about those and uh i don't know just trying different players and doing new things with the team to keep things fresh uh so i'm not just trying to play the games for the rewards but enjoy as much as I can, the gameplay on the way to getting those rewards. So that's kind of one thing I wanted to mention because, man, yesterday I was just not feeling the gameplay. But I do want to get my games done, hopefully hit that 11 win mark. We're going to have to clutch up here in the end. Um, should be able to get 11 wins and get some weekly rewards today for the stream. That is for sure. Last thing I want to talk about, we should be getting leaks very soon about who is in Prem team of the season. That is something that is leaked every single year. I would be surprised if we do not have any news on Prem Tots cards leaked to this game for this Friday starting today, especially starting tomorrow on Wednesday. So watch out for leaks. That's going to impact the market a bit. It's going to really shake things up and build the hype, stir the pot, if you will, before Prem Team of the Season starts this Friday. So we'll be looking out for a Tots Guaranteed Pack today. That, again, I'm not leaking that. I'm just saying that is something we look forward to every single year. If it's going to come, I think it's today. Or I think it's tomorrow. So hopefully it comes for each each or one of those two days. We get that SBC. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Good luck finishing your weekly games. It's tough out there. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Peace. Out.